Hello everyone, Cloud Snipe here, and welcome to another episode of Myths Monsters MLP. So in the human world, I love to play Yu-Gi-Oh with my friends, and I often get card packs to see what cool things I can get. So in one pack, I pulled a monster called Fright Fur Chimera. I, being a person who loves stories of cards, I looked into it, and obviously it referenced the counterpart of the same name. The Chimera. Now obviously, we saw the Chimera in Equestria, and in our missions we often flew above its home quite a few times. But there's something that bugged me. What all Chimeras do we know in Equestria? And in my research, we know a lot of Chimeras. Alicorns, Pegasi, Manticore, Minotaurs, Cockatrice, Werebats, and for the love of Luna, even Discord himself is a Chimera. Because although the term Chimera is often used in conjunction with the classic creature with the head of a lion in the front, a head of a snake on the tail, and the head of a goat in the middle, the truth is, a Chimera is a wide term used to give a name to a creature with more than one combined creature. An example, an alicorn is a combined ability of an earth pony, a pegasus, and a unicorn, when in truth a pegasus is a horse and a winged animal, birds of the Greek myth. So an alicorn is four different creatures combined. A griffin is a bird and a lion. A manicor is a lion, sometimes a human face, with a teeth like a shark, wings of a bat, and a tail of a scorpion or a dragon. And oh boy, don't even get me started on Discord. I love the guy, but he's like a Lego building. Parts from everything you can get your hands on. But what is the myth of the iconic Chimera, like the one we see in the Firefields? Well, in the myths, the Chimera is a creature born by Typhon and Echidna, and siblings to Cerberus and the Libyan Hydra. Jeez, that's a colorful family tree if I've ever seen one. The Chimera was the first really described in the Iliad by the Greek poet Homer, and the main reason I'm covering so many of Homer's Iliad monsters is because it's one of the earliest known literature in human history, and 90% of the Greek myths we were found in its pages. And the Chimera was often seen as an omen of impending storms and disasters and shipwrecks. Wait, that sounds familiar. That's right, the same description is given to the disaster Pokemon, Absol. Now why do I bring up Pokemon in an MLP video? Because, unless you A. gave up on Pokemon long ago and missed it, or B. have been living under a rock for the past week. There's a Chimera Pokemon now joining the mix. Type Null. Ooh, I'll just call Null for ease. Null is a Chimera because it's experimentation to create a Pokemon to rival the creatures of myth. So it was created with DNA and abilities of many Pokemon, like a fish tail, a clogged, clawed foreleg, and scaled hind legs. Again, why did I bring this up? because Null was made to rival the legendary Pokemon in power. The Chimera were seen as satanic powers of nature, often with powers rivaling even the gods themselves. With this, many creatures fear these creatures, and some treat them like angry gods, that when one is seen, they will often try to appease them with sacrifices and prayers. And what type of Chimeras do we see as having godlike powers and strength? Alicorns. Discord, Tyrek, and even the Manticore gave Luna a bit of a scare in the Journal of the Two Sisters. Chimeras are more than just scary nightmare monsters that we are used to them being, and they are actually everywhere. Some even closer than you know, my little Pegasus. Well... I'm going to end this now. If you like this, please like and subscribe, and drop down to the Tumblr page to ask about our daily lives. And like us on Facebook, where I'll post about upcoming videos and ideas. Now, if you excuse me, i got to go see about an exorcist, or a priest. Anyways, I'll see you in the skies, busters. Brawl, get the address book.